Today we're going to work on different character types that are found in literature. So why are characters important? Well, as a reader, you want to be drawn into the story. As a viewer of movies and television, you need to be con uh, drawn into the story with the characters. When characters have problems, they tug at your emotions, and they later overcome those problems through personal revelations. And that's going to teach us lessons about humankind. So there are main types of characters. We have static or flat characters, which do not change their personalities. But we also have dynamic and round characters. These are characters that will change their uh, dynamics as the story progresses. They learn and they grow. So what is the difference in the types? Well, the difference between round or dynamic and flat or static characters is the difference between a circle and a ball. When you look at a circle, it's two-dimensional. There's not much substance there. And with three-dimensional, there's a lot of different traits. So both of them do have similar qualities. They're both circles, they're both spheres, they're both circular objects. But a circle is a two-dimensional figure. You only see what it, it, for, it, what it is for what it is, just that circle. A sphere is a three-dimensional figure. It's going to have different traits as you turn it. So when you again look at the idea of, like, say, my two types of penguins here, your two-dimensional on the left doesn't have much personality. A penguin is a penguin. Um, he looks just like you would have from several different other uh, illustrators. But if you look at my three-dimensional penguin, all of a sudden he's an artist. He has all of his uh, paints on a tray. He happens to have already been painting because you can see from his smock. So all of a sudden you can understand more from his particular character traits. So let's talk about round or dynamic characters. Round characters have many different character traits from physical descriptions to different sides to their personalities. Now the author chooses to provide detailed information about round characters to the reader in order for the reader or the viewer of the movie or television show to connect with that character. Dynamic characters have to grow and change as the story progresses, and often these characters will learn about themselves and they'll learn about others as they struggle with the conflict of the show, the conflict of the play, or the conflict of the story. Now these characters are going to typically be the main characters in your story. Your typical quote unquote good guys and bad guys. They help the story plotline progress. They are growing. But we also have the idea of, can you be a round character but not a dynamic character? You can. Let's take the story of Cinderella. She experiences a problem and that crisis is overcome. She has a happily ever after. However, her character stays the same positive, optimistic, friendly person that she was in the beginning of the story. She is a round character. She has a problem in the pot plot line and she overcomes it. However, she's not a dynamic character. She stayed that same positive, optimistic, friendly person all throughout. So she's a round character. She does resolve her, her crisis in her, in her plot line, but she doesn't change. So she's round, but she's not dynamic. You have to pay attention to the clues that the author gives you about the characters in order to just define what is round and what is round and dynamic. So maybe perhaps let's take a look at something more recent like the Harry Potter novels. Uh, round characters might include some of your main characters such as Harry Potter, Ronald Weasley, Hermione Granger, but can also include some of the secondary characters such as Ginny Weasley and Severus Snape because they're major characters who encounter conflict and they're changed by it. Now Neville Longbottom, Harry Potter's classmate, is also a dynamic character because through most of the series he's a petrified student but at the end, he leads an army of students to fight the evil and feared Voldemort. So he's not a round character. He's not the major character who's going to affect progress in the story of the novels. However, he's still a dynamic character. Neville starts off as this petrified little student, but in the end of the series, he leads an army of students. He has changed. He is a dynamic character. On the other side, let's look at flat and static characters. 
Now, flat characters do not have much personality, or the author just chose not to provide the reader with much detail on this character. Flat characters will not change over the course of the story. Same thing with static characters, they just don't, they just don't change at all. These characters are typically supporting their subordinate characters in the story that help the plot line progress, but you're not going to see them change throughout the course of the story personality-wise. So what is an example of a flat and static character? Well, if we take a look at the story of the Lion King from Disney, the character of Scar uh, provides a perfect example of both flat and static character. He's mean and devious. He's going to be that way all throughout. His character will not change. That is the extent of the development of his character. Is there examples of flat characters in Harry Potter novels? Absolutely. Uh, Mr. Filch, the caretaker of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, is a flat character. He has this undying obsession to find students breaking school rules. Now that helps progress the action. It helps give complications to your major characters, but his character stays flat. He always has this obsession with finding students breaking the school rules. His character does not change. It is flat. Professor McGonagall or Bellatrix Lestrange are static characters. Their personalities are consistent throughout the series. Our knowledge of their characters does not increase. However, they're going to help the action of the story. We need to have Professor McGonagall and Bellatrix Lestrange help us with our plot lines. So they are static characters, not flat. They're helping progress the novel. However, they're static characters because their personalities, like Cinderella's, did not change. Why is it important to know if a character is round or flat? Well, you, you're going to be looking to see whether or not these people are changing the plot line of the story. Are they changing their personalities? And then, of course, you want to ask the question, how do you know which one they are? Well, you can ask yourself, does this character go through changes in his or her personality? If you start making a list about how the character changed here and changed there, then yes, the character is a round character. You've seen the character progress. If the character has one or two personality traits and they pretty much keep them throughout the entire story, that likely is a flat character. They're not doing much, if any, changing at all. So what is static versus dynamic? Well, when you ask yourself a couple of questions, such as does the character change from the beginning to the end of the story? Is their personality evolving as they're learning and overcoming the plot line? If so, then yes, the character is dynamic. As the plot line continues and their character does not change, Cinderella is still that nice, positive character that you've always seen. Professor McGonagall is still the helpful uh, advisor. Uh, Bellatrix Lestrange is still the evil woman from beginning to end. Scar is still mean and devious from beginning to end. All of these characters are static. They have not changed their personality, even though they are helping the plot line move along. Thanks for stopping by and learning about characters today, guys. If you'd like, go back to my channel and watch some more videos.